started this trip off with an early departure time of 5.30, so we could get to our destination by late morning, still have a full day to enjoy the destination. Unfortunately for us, it was super foggy that morning, and until we got on the interstate, you really didn't feel safe driving any faster than 35 miles an hour or so. We were headed to Manistee National Forest ORV Trails near Baldwin, Michigan. I've done this trip nearly every year for probably the last 10 years, but each time you seem to get a little different experience. We generally always stop at Peacock, just south of the trails, and get our off-road permits and get an updated map for that year so we know where we are allowed to be on the trails and on the county roads. And then we park at Club 37, which is located just off of M37 in Baldwin. Once you are to Club 37, the trail is just across the road and you have access to miles and miles of trails. We got unloaded and headed out for a day of what would become our best day of riding that we've ever experienced on these trails. The trails are groomed by volunteers, so there's not really any set schedule as to when the riding will be smooth, at least not that I've been able to find over the years. But we showed up and in a couple of spots, we were actually able to make the first tracks on the trail since it had been groomed. This gave a completely different trip because we could run faster and still have a smooth ride that didn't beat our bodies to death. As I close in on my 40th year on this earth, that last part has become more and more important to be able to get out of bed the morning after trail riding. Since it was already late in the morning, by the time we got out there, we decided we better start figuring out what our lunch plans were. So we decided to head to Chase, which has a restaurant called Chase Creek Smokehouse. They have a great outdoor seating area and a nice rustic indoor area, which since we were going to be outside for the next seven hours, we just decided to dine inside. But this place never disappoints. After lunch, we were talking about what we wanted to do next, and we were about 17 miles from where we parked the truck. So we decided since the trails were so great, we needed to get off the county roads and get back to the trails. Do we take the maroon dots or the blue line? You just have to ask yourself, do you feel lucky? They have most roads other than the state roads open to ORV traffic. You need to stay at 25 miles an hour and stay as close to the shoulder as you can, but you must stay on the pavement because they don't want you in the side ditch riding. There's a few different loops in this area that you can take, and I wish I could tell you the names of them all, but even after going here 10 years, I still don't know where I am half the time without pulling the map out. So this is probably the smoothest the trails have been, I don't know, at least in the last five years since we've been coming here every year. And it makes awesome riding. They've had a ton of rain up here. So it's just been great. They had a chance to groom it, fill in all the holes and we are just rocking today. So this is gonna be a blast. I knew from past experience the quads could do somewhere from 30 to 40 miles on a tank of gas, and when they were empty, the side-by-sides normally were still at half of a tank. Since in previous years we've been in some hairy situations with fuel, we always made a rule that when we pass a gas station we're going to top off so that we didn't get caught unprepared and run out of gas. We just said we would always fill up. Well, we had just filled up after lunch, and when we drove by the next gas station it really hadn't been that many miles, probably 15 or so. We decided we would be good. After, I don't know, probably an hour or so, we knew the quads were probably getting low on fuel, and we had to decide rather to roll the dice and make a beeline for the gas station or just run the trails and hope that we had enough to get back to Carryville for fuel. So you know where we're going, kinda? Yeah. Okay. But I don't know why we're in a hand basket. Oh, great. Just kidding. We're heading there, huh? <laughs> Again? 
All right. Well, I just ran out of gas and I'm on reserve and DJ's on reserve. So we're gonna see if we can get to the gas station. About five miles from the gas station, both the quads were running on reserve fuel and that only got us a couple miles till we both ran out. The crazy thing was my Banshee, which is a two stroke and DJ's Warrior, that's a four stroke, both ran out of fuel about a hundred feet from each other. Luckily, both the side-by-sides had a tow strap with them and with our tails between our legs, we had to be drug up on the trails to the gas station. Turns out Dan's tow strap didn't have any hooks on it, so he had to do a little bit of Boy Scout knot tie-in 101 here to get it towable. And uh, John realized he didn't have a hitch pin when he went to hook up his connection, so, uh, you know, he used a screwdriver, like you see here. Ridiculous. It's not right. At that point, we were just thankful that we had a way to be towed to the gas station instead of shoving these things through the sand for five miles. So we were cool with it. humiliating but I guess it's not as humiliating as being stranded in the woods all night thanks boys yeah you guys really MacGyvered something here that's nice thank you your parents would be proud of that it was starting to get a little later in the day and in that forest when you're deep into it the daylight seems to go away at least an hour before it's really dark outside the forest we decided we would run one last loop, taking the medium length trail back to the truck and call it a day. We ended up logging a little over 100 miles for the day, which a lot of doing that many miles was thanks to the volunteers that give their time to groom these trails and make them the amazing place to ride that they are. So I absolutely want to give a shout out to these guys. Okay, 102 miles on the trails. They were the smoothest I've seen them in all my years of trail riding. We parked at Club 37. We rode to Chase for lunch. We rode back to, I don't even know where we went. Lincoln. Lincoln Hills. We were all over the place. Luther, then to Lincoln Hills, then back to Luther. Our goal was to break 100 miles, and we did that. So I'm pretty happy with it. But that's it. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Thanks, YouTube, for tuning in. We'll see you next time.